sorry for the times I forget what it was like living life like a silhouette, tracing the line and ignore what's inside till you. Sometimes I see it all so clear You are the reason I'm here I was in the dark But you were the light Guiding me through this night Guiding me Keep my head up towards the sky and look for you like a satellite. When things go wrong and I'm out of touch, you always find a way to send me love and lose Today we're gathered here to celebrate the marriage between Adam and Liberty. These two present themselves today cheerfully, surrounded by the people they love the most. You know, a couple of months ago I asked you both the question about what you love most about each other. Libby shared that there's many things she loves about Adam, but here are a few that stood out to me. First, she said Adam will never let her believe that he didn't love her at any given moment, even when he's angry or annoyed. Adam refuses to let Libby believe she is not beautiful. Adam shared that what he loves most about Libby is her ability to find humor in just about anything. He also said that he loves how Libby pushes him to be the best he can be every day. And I, I kind of noticed how Adam said that Lib pushes him and not bosses him to be the best that he can be. Anyway, Adam and Liberty, always remember that your marriage will be a lifelong promise to love, respect, trust and honor each other through the good times and the bad. It requires effort, commitment, and unending respect. Okay, Adam, repeat after me. I, Adam, give you this ring. I, Adam, give you this ring. I, Liberty, give you this ring. I promise to love, respect, and honor you. To always be there for you with you and beside you. Let this ring be a symbol of our love. Let it be eternal. And represent our today, tomorrow, and forever. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Schroeder. Adam, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> I can remember, but we didn't really start getting close till early high school. 
You were a friend, a best friend. Then when you and Libby started talking and getting more serious, you were a little bit of an enemy. Fast forward a couple of years full of unforgettable memories and mischief. I couldn't be happier for the both of you guys. Uh, and with that, let's raise our glasses and get this party started. When I first heard that Libby and Adam were a thing, I was thinking to myself, here we go again. Another guy stealing one of my friends. But once I met Adam and hung out with him a couple times, I realized how good of a guy he was. Libby, you couldn't have picked a nicer or more caring guy to marry. When I first heard Adam had proposed to Libby, I was wondering, what is he thinking? It's not that you'll never be right again, Adam. It's that you'll never be able to admit it. I am so happy for you and Adam, and I hope you guys have a happy and healthy life together.